Now we shall solve one more problem. Find the Z transform of cos hyperbolic n theta, cos h n theta, sin h n theta, k power n, cos h n theta, k power n, sin h n theta. So if I go with the solution, we should know that as we know the definition of uh, hyperbolic function uh, under uh, trigonometric function called uh, cos hyperbolic uh, n theta cos hyperbolic n theta can be written as e power n theta plus e power minus n theta all divided by 2 similarly we know the definition of sin hyperbolic n theta is what e power n theta minus e power minus n theta all divided by 2. So applying these two definitions, we can find the Z transform of cos H n theta and sin H n theta. So therefore, Z transform of cos H n theta, cos H n theta is what? Z transform of this value cos H n theta is not in the list of standard form. So I am converting uh, to the uh, list of standard form in terms of k power n. So the, that is what e power n theta plus e power minus n theta divided by 2. So applying linearity property for this 1 by 2 is constant into z transform of e power n theta plus z transform of e power minus n theta. e power minus n theta. Now we know that it is of the form z transform of k power n. What is z transform of k power n? z by z minus k. z by z minus k. Here k is what? Here k is e power theta and here k is what? e power minus theta. k is what? e power theta and k is here e power minus theta. Therefore applying that definition 1 by 2 times of z transform of k power n is what? z by z minus k. Here k is e power theta so it is z by z minus e power theta plus z by z minus e power minus theta so now taking lcm now taking lcm 1 by 2 times of z minus e power theta into z minus e power minus theta so here the numerator you can take out z as common z so multiply the numerator by z minus e power minus theta plus of z minus e power theta. So we are left out with what? Simplifying this, simplifying this part. z by 2 times of z plus z is what? 2z, 2z minus e power minus, take out minus common, e power theta e power theta plus e power minus theta minus theta all divided by expansion of this expansion of this is what expansion of this is what z into z z square minus z e power minus theta minus z e power theta minus into minus e power theta into e power minus theta is what 1 so I can take out minus z as common we are left out with z square z square minus z times of e power theta e power theta minus e power minus theta plus 1 plus 1 so now as you know that the definition of e power n theta plus e power minus n theta divided by 2 is what cos h n theta so similarly I can write e power n theta plus e power minus n theta can be written as 2 times of cos h n theta. So applying that definition here, I can rewrite that as z by 2 times of 2z minus 2 cos h theta divided by z square minus 2z cos h theta plus 1. So multiplying uh, z by 2 inside, you are going to get the answer as z, uh, 2 to get cancelled, z into z, z square minus z cos h theta divided by z square minus 2z cos h theta plus 1. This is what z transform of cos h n theta. Cos h n theta. Cos h n theta. So now I want to find z transform of k power n cos h n theta. So just replace z by z by k in the above equation. You are going to get 
z square by k square minus z by k cos h theta whole divided by z square by k square minus 2 z by k cos h theta plus 1. So, as we get both numerator and denominator as LCM as k square. So, multiply both numerator and denominator by k square. You are going to get z square minus k z cos h theta plus sorry whole divided by z square minus 2 k z cos h theta plus 1 is the required z transform of k power n cos h n t. Theta can be written as 2 cos h theta. So it becomes z by 2 times of 2z minus 2 cos h theta all divided by z square minus 2z cos h theta plus 1. So multiply this uh, z by 2 to the numerator it becomes uh, uh, z into z z square 2 by 2 get cancelled minus z, uh, 2 by 2 get cancelled z cos h theta all divided by z square minus 2z cos h theta plus 1. This is nothing but z transform of cos h n theta. This is what z transform of cos h n theta. Now I can find out z transform of k power n cos h n theta. Cos h n theta is what? Just replace z by z by k in the above expression. So we are going to get z square by k square. z by k the whole square is z square by k square minus z by k cos h theta all divided by z square by k square minus 2z by k cos h theta plus 1. So as you take uh, the LCM in both numerator and denominator, you are going to have get the LCM as k square. So just multiply uh, and divide both numerator and denominator by k square. You are going to get z square minus kz cos h theta all divided by z square minus 2 kz cos h theta plus k square. That is what z transform of k power n cos h n theta. Now, we want to find uh, z transform of sin h n theta, z transform of k power n sin h n theta, right? So, it is very simple. See here, once you know how to solve uh, z transform of cos hyperbole function and uh, k power n uh, z trans, uh, k power n cos hyperbole function. Uh, so, here, just replace uh, sin by cos here. So, you are going to get, uh, you know that uh, sin h n theta is given by e power n theta minus e power minus n theta. So, just replace minus sign here. So, by linearity property, you are going to get minus sign. So, therefore, here also you are going to get minus sign. Now, taking LCM, be careful while taking LCM, that's all. Uh, while taking LCM, you are multiplying by minus sign. It becomes minus z and here minus into minus plus e power theta. So, minus z plus z get cancelled here. So, the denominator will not be changed here. So, you are left out with, you are going to left out with e power theta minus e power minus theta e power theta minus e power minus theta all divided by z square minus z I have taken out minus z common into e power theta plus e power minus theta so therefore by definition of cos uh, sin h n theta I can write e power theta minus e power minus theta as 2 sin hyperbolic h theta 2 sin hyperbolic h theta now multiply z by 2 inside so you are going to get z, 2 to get cancelled z sin h theta so which is nothing but z transform of sin h n theta so therefore uh, now i want to find out uh, k power n sin h n theta so replace uh, z by k you are going to get uh, k z by k sin h theta divided by z square by k square minus 2 z by k uh, cos h theta plus 1. So therefore finally taking LCM you are left out with kz kz sin h theta divided by z square minus 2 kz cos h theta plus k square that is nothing but k power n 
sin h n theta sin h n theta this is what the transformation for uh, k power n sin h n theta and uh, this is the z transform of uh, sin h n theta 